Hi, I'm Michelle Solentano and I'm here at the Westcott headquarters in Toledo, Ohio. And I'm very excited to be talking to you today about lighting and posing family portraits. I'm super excited because we have a great family coming in today with a 14 month old little boy who I found out is just walking. So that creates problems, right? Just little boys ready to walk and take off. So how do we handle that? How do we pose a 14 month old? We have uh, obviously his parents, mom and dad, and then we have a set of grandparents, which always makes me very happy because I love being able to photograph grandparents with their grandchildren. It's one of the most special things I think that I do, and I'm really excited about the session today. So let me show you how we're gonna set it up, and then we'll talk about how we're gonna pose it and light it. So today for this session, we're gonna be using a two light setup. So it's really very simple. Here we're gonna be using the FJ400 and we have the rapid box switch Okta, the large one, which is awesome. And then when we come over here, because we're shooting on a black background and our subjects are going to be wearing black, I wanna create a little bit of separation in the hair and in the black clothing from the background. So we have one light overhead, same FJ400, with a one by three strip box with a grid in it so that we can really direct the light exactly where we want it. In addition to that, we have a reflector here. So we'll be feathering that main light a bit, but we wanna bring in a little bit of a reflector to kick back in some light so it's not as harsh, especially when we're working with groups. Um, this reflector I have set up here is actually a, a translucent panel white with a silver behind it. So it gives us a little bit of that silver pop, but a little bit of a softer pop. So it's somewhere between a white and a silver, but I just mashed them together because this uh, won't give me quite enough bounce back by itself, this uh, translucent scrim. So just back it up with a little bit of silver and you have a really nice reflector that will just kick that light right back at our subjects. Okay, so I'll have you here. Okay. And I might have you this, let me back this up just a tiny bit. So you'll be this way. Yep, okay, and then just turn and talk to him and like laugh and giggle at him. So when you're talking to him, you're like, ah, yeah, where's daddy? Where's daddy? And bring your hand a little lower. Yep, is he, is he moving around? It's 14 month old babies need a little break. And he's like, I need my toy. I need my toy. So then we'll switch it up and we'll and we'll have mom. Oh, where did it go? Is it up there? Say, ah, it's up there, yay! Uh, say peekaboo up a little straighter, Amanda. That's it, so relax your shoulders. Tilt your head up for me just this way a little bit. Yeah, and then turn your nose to me just a drop. Jackson, come, who's ever he's looking at? Come right over here. There you go. I see you. Where is it? Is it not? Is it up there? Where's the giggles? Say peekaboo. So relax your shoulders just a little bit. There you go. And then lift him up a little bit more. Like put your hand underneath. Maybe bring this hand underneath. Okay. So this way you get him a little closer to your face, and you don't have to duck as much. Yeah. To, yeah. Ha ba 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 ba. And then bring this hand and like hold his hand. Okay. okay ready? I'm gonna get it. So relax just a little bit. So okay. you're gonna come in here. I want your head right in this space. So you'll lean into her just a little bit. It might mean separating your feet a little bit. Yeah, yeah to get a little bit lower. And then you don't wanna push your body up against her. What you wanna do is pull in and then lean the sternum towards her a little bit. Yeah, feel, <laughs> feels weird, looks good. That's perfect, but a little bit higher. And then you're gonna hold on, Get let, let him hold on to one of your fingers. And then we'll just adjust this. And I know it's, he's heavy, but. Ha, ba, ba, ba. Yep. And then watch that finger back there. Yep. <laughs> wah, wah, wah. Okay, and then remember, get your head in that spot. Oh, I'm gonna come and get you. I'm gonna come and get you. So yeah, sit him just a little bit more. We'll just add another apple box. That's good. Yeah, no, that's fine. And that now you can let him sit without, yes. Now relax, there you go. Is that good? Okay, here we go. Here we go. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, I see you, buddy. One, two, peekaboo. One, two, keep looking at me, peekaboo. One, two, peekaboo. Yay, Tom, lean over a little bit more. Chin down just to drop. Josh, 
Josh, lean into your mom just a little bit more. Yes, Josh, surely yay. lean towards Josh just a little bit. Okay, we just <laughs> we just wrapped up <laughs> that crazy session. Okay, so it seemed crazier than it really was, um, but it was amazing and the family was great and just want to give you an idea of what our settings were at. So just so you know where we're at, I was using my 70 to 200 because it's really easy to zoom in and out and also to change the direction of vertical to horizontal on my camera. Now for our lights, our main light was at 7.5 and our backlight, our hair light was at 6.0. My settings were 1 60th of a second, 160 ISO, 7.1 for my aperture. Um, 7.1 because I really wanna make sure that all of those faces are in focus and that uh, when the baby moves forward or back that he doesn't uh, push himself in or out of focus depending on where my focus is. Everyone always asks, where is your focal point? Center of the image, on an eye, if you can. Um, but I also like 7.1 or 8.0 in the studio when we're working on a plain, seamless background because we don't have to worry about whether or not we want shallow depth of field. We don't, we don't want shallow depth of field in studio. I want good depth of field on all the subjects, especially when you have a little one that moves around a lot. I'm in the business of photography for selling portraits, right? So when I'm photographing families, a lot of uh, my focus is on combinations. And that's actually one of the reasons why I love when grandparents come in, because I like to photograph the baby alone, the baby with mom, the baby with dad, the three of them together, um, grandma with the baby, grandpa with the baby, the two of them together with the baby, if that's possible. And it's not always possible, because as you can see from the footage, babies break down and they don't have a whole lot of uh, patience for me when I'm trying to photograph them. So that means I need to have a lot of patience with them. And so one of the reasons why I like to work on a tripod is because I do a lot of animated faces. I'm running into the frame, I'm coming back out, and I like to have everything set so I don't have to constantly pick up my camera and put it down. At that point, because my camera's on a tripod, I can really communicate with my subjects. And I can also, also direct them in posing by using my face and my hands and my words if I was stuck behind the camera all the time saying to um, dad, lean forward a little bit more, turn your face a little bit forward, turn your face this way. It's very hard to see that from behind the camera. So working on a tripod is probably one of the most important things I do. The other thing I do is really like being ridiculous, especially with this age group, anywhere from like six months to a year, year and a half, two years old, even three years old. There's a lot of jumping up and down and hiding behind the camera and playing peekaboo and singing kids songs and making animal noises and it's ridiculous and it's really important to get comfortable doing that. The other thing is and one of the reasons why I love these lights is for the recycle time because when you're working with little kids it's all about expression and they turn their head very quickly. They go from frowning to smiling to a little smile to a bigger smile to clapping hands all within milliseconds and so for me to be behind the camera and just to keep shooting and wait for that perfect expression I'd really rather get the perfect frame in camera than have to do any post processing and swapping heads. If I can get it in camera I'm way happier and that's one of the reasons I really love the fast recycle times on my strobes because with kids I'm click 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 one after the other I'm jumping up and down I'm yelling I'm screaming I'm dancing I'm singing show tunes <laughs> I'm making animal sounds and the other reason that uh, it makes such a difference to work on the tripod is that I can just keep my hand on the trigger knowing that I'm set ready to go and I can just keep moving I don't have to worry about my lights I don't have to worry about my focus I don't have to worry about my composition it's all set up for me and all I have to do is communicate. I have to just let the parents know where to turn their head, how to lean in a little bit more, keep smiling at me, don't worry about looking at the baby, look at me, and then I'm jumping up and down, screaming Jackson, and making all kinds of ridiculous noises. But that is the life of a photographer, and I'm so grateful I get to do this job. Okay, so those are some of my tips and tricks for photographing families in studio. I'd love to hear some of yours because the more knowledge we share, the better we get as a community. So just drop a note below and give us some of your best tips for working in the studio and especially working with young kids.